doesn't change at all. Uh, Travis is very good backup. We have Chop is really good backup. We had guys that can fill the spot, so you know the game plan doesn't change. Though. In your mind, you much of a second half team than you were a couple of years ago. Is there halftime changes? Or are you more stamina in the second half as a team? What's changed? I think the only thing that you can say is change is the way that we approach the group. So there was not once in this game where we sat there. We always, to be out here. we always sat there. Every single time we came off the bench, whether we had success with driving out, we sat there like we're, we're going to be successful. We're going to win this game, and that's exactly how we're talking. Why Case. Mindset change? Is that the coach Rick has said? Their mentality is instilled. It's definitely something that has been instilled by not just Christian, but by the players also like, during summer position and, and, and during the offseason. Casey Navon, Navon, one of several guys out. Um, you know what? What's it like not to have him even at practice? I'm not. He's in a boot. Um, thoughts? Uh, you know, it's it's hard because uh, I can kind of relate. You know, being a freshman and getting hurt, it's it's not uh, something that you look at and you're you're excited about. You kind of get down on it. But you know, I, I talked to him this weekend. He's my roommate. He's, he's in high spirits. He's hoping that he can. He's gonna try and see what he can do. And, and you know, however long it takes him to come back, he's gonna come back and he's gonna be strong. And, you know, his, his mindset hasn't changed all either. Casey, also, you're a leader, one of the leaders of this team. And last year after Florida State, you guys had a lot of injuries also. You know, how do you compensate for this and, and your attitude? Just just by having more mental toughness. Uh, you know, we have guys, you know, I'm banged up. We have guys that are banged up. You know, that's exactly what football is. It's a tough physical sport. We just got done playing a war. But the, every Saturday is a war. And everyone's got to be prepared for it. And that's why we have to have depth. And we have the depth this year. And we have guys that are ready to step up and, and take places of other guys if that if need be. And that's what that's what goes along with the maturity of this, of this team. It's something that we talked about all offseason and, and to get everybody to understand. Next man up mentality, because it could happen at any time throughout the season. Is your coordinator is full time starter right guard if you don't think he's ready. Uh, so is Hayden Mahoney, so so is Jair Jones, so so are all the guys that, that play that position. Everyone everyone's ready to be a starter. You know, they work their butts off every single day in practice and study film just as far as everyone else does. They're, everyone's ready to be one of the, one of the starters. And we'll, 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 we'll look at practice today, we'll look at practice tomorrow, we'll do everything we need to do to get everyone ready. But everyone's pretty much ready to go. Um, well, yeah, it, it definitely did. Uh, I bawled my eyes out, uh, hugging everybody. By the leaders staying on top of everybody, by Coach Rick being on top of everybody. You know, we had we came out here during walkthrough and, and uh, we had one or two little mess ups. In terms of, uh, we, knew, we knew we messed up, we, we fixed it right away. We had great practices, so that's how it's just everyone's going to be in the right mindset. We're coming out here to work to get better. We're not just going out here to uh, just be able to stay. We're going to be able to stay. Two more. No, they're, they're a good defense. They have that uh, good scheme. They like to uh, you know, try and trick you with, uh, with uh, safety scroll down the box and stuff like that. They're, I mean, their record shows they're a good team. You know, they, they, they were dog fighting against Tennessee. And they, they played a couple of good teams since then. But, you know, we're going to do everything we can to prepare for them and do what we do best. Have you talked to Mark Walton? I don't know if they asked you that since, since he was hurt. And how's he doing? Mark's doing good. He's in high spirits. Uh, from what I hear, everything's going great. And uh, you know, I saw him yesterday. He was really high spirited, and, and you know, nothing but nothing but prayers for fast recovery for him. Uh, especially for someone like that, he's such a leader on his team. You, know, and you, you can see it in the way he runs, with all the passion that he has, and, and the way that he does it on and off the field. Uh, he's, he's a complete package for as, as a human being goes. Thanks. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Casey. Thank you.